No, we really couldn't. Um, you know, we debated about going, letting him go out for the sixth, and he had such an easy fifth inning that, you know, I decided to let him go out. Um, but, I mean, he was outstanding. I thought his cutter was good. I thought his best inning was the fifth inning. Uh, I, I don't think he can ask for any more. And, and I know I told you there wasn't really many restrictions on his pitch limit, but these pitchers are a little more stressful than <laughs> 91 down in AAA. Joe, how difficult is that to do, considering he's made six minor league appearances facing the Blue Jays coming up and putting up zeros the way he did? It's, it's really difficult. Um, you know, I thought Romy and him worked really well together. I thought his cutter was really good tonight. I thought that was a big pitch for him. His curveball, he used okay. Um, it's going to get better because that's a big pitch for him too. But he threw strikes and he got big outs when he needed to. How valuable an asset is Luis Severino at mm. the bullpen? He's been great. Um, you know, at times he's given us two innings. At times he's given us three tonight. I think he gave us four maybe against the Mets. Um, he can power his way through it a little bit more. Um, really valuable innings from him tonight. Any temptation to put him back out there for the ninth? Yeah, uh, I think you have to evaluate that he threw 38 on Sunday, 50 tonight, and I think you get in a danger zone. Um, believe me, I thought about it, um, but you got to protect him. Billy? Uh, before the game, you seem to have you know, very modest expectations of what Mitchell might give you. Can you sort of maybe put into words of kind of what it means to just go to this point in the season and you know, make six minor league appearances and all of a sudden you're thrust into that? I'm sure it, it means a lot to him, um, what he's had to battle through this year, the frustration. Um, you know, he was looking forward to the season and he would have played a valuable role for us and, and to get hurt the way he did, I don't know, it was a week before we left maybe at the most. It had to be extremely frustrating. Spending those, all those days down in Florida rehabbing, um, throwing, you know, with his leg up on a chair for, for weeks upon weeks to try to keep his arm in shape, looking forward to this day and for him to come out and do it this time of year in a game that's this important, really had to mean a lot to him. Kevin. Joe, uh, what, what intangibles and also tangibles do the younger players give you as an organization, especially this time of year? Well, I, I, I think their, their energy level is probably a little bit higher. They're not quite as beat up as, as you know, the guys that have some age on them um, physically. Uh, I mean, we played extremely well since they, they've gotten here. Um, and I don't think it's a coincidence. I, I think it has to do with what they've been able to contribute. And, and there's a lot of them. Um, you think about all the young guys that have had an impact on, on this team. Um, they've done a really good job. To the left, Jesse. Joe, the standings impact of sweeping them versus taking two out of three is obvious, but is there a mental impact for these guys as well to boost their confidence going into these last three weeks? Well, I sure hope so. I mean, we've been playing extremely well. And, you know, I've said we've been playing – playoff baseball really since about August 1st um, because we knew the importance of those games in the first four months. I think we were 500 after the first four months and we knew that that wasn't going to cut it. Um, and, uh, you know, we've had some tough times with the Blue Jays. They've beaten us late in, in, in a lot of games. Um, and for us to come back and to do what we did, I hope it gives them confidence. Daily news here. <laughs> uh, Joe, what is next uh, with Mitchell? What does he do now? What's next assignment? What's well, I would think he would start in five start. days, yeah. Mark? How did it feel to finally finish off a sweep? Huh, good. Uh, how many times have we tried? Six or seven. Yeah, I think that was the charm for Vinny, too. <laughs> Does it, uh, do you look at this as kind of a statement series for you guys that, you know, first place team comes into town and, and you? You know, I don't know. I mean, they, I mean, they're a really good club, and we knew that, you know, we have to keep winning to make up ground. Um, you know, I, I don't ever think much about statements because, I mean, you have to, you have to go out and win tomorrow, and you got to do it the next day, and it depends on how you play. But, um, you know, we keep getting closer, and that's the idea here, and um, it's been fun. Meredith. Joe, another home run for Castro is 20th of the season. 14 of those home runs came here at Yankee Stadium, batting above 300. Is it just a matter of favorable dimensions, or do you think it's more than that as to why he's had success? You know, sometimes it's just that way um, for guys. I obviously, this ballpark, you know, certain directions can play small at times. Um, uh, but, you know, he's had some homers to write, but not a ton. So I just think it's 
just kind of how it went this year. Anyone else? Mark? So Judge coming in for Austin, was that just defense? Or yes. Okay, Austin's okay. Yes. 